What is going on everyone? Broken Mike here, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this week's episode of BUW. This of course is episode 95, part 3. So if you guys missed any of the action in parts 1 or 2, then please do go on over and check those out. As you can see, we're going to be kicking off part 3 with a singles match from the men's division, and it is another grudge match between Max and a member of the Broken Psychos. As Max, the new United, the <laughs> new United States champion, easy for me to say, will be going one on one with Lucas Hackett this time around. And as it stands, Max has one win and one loss over the Broken Psychos in singles matches. But can he get the better of Lucas Hackett in this one? Let's find out, shall we? So if you guys do enjoy this one, then do be sure to hit the like for Mike. Slam any comments down below. And of course, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and do be sure to smash that little notification bell to be kept up to date with all things gaming and all things BUW. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Little Rock, Arkansas. Weighing in at 231 pounds, Luke S. Hagen. Byron, are you Just entering the ring, the representing the Broken Psychos right and the now. owner Not and creator the of Cartoon the Connage Wrestling and AFW, Lucas Hackett. And Lucas had a decent showing at the uh, Chamber of Mayhem when he fought for the Global Championship. Unfortunately for Lucas, did not get the job done. And riding his way around the ring, the brand new BUW United States Champion, Max. Of course, Max capturing his first piece of gold in BUW in a no holds barred rematch for the United States Championship against now former champion Mike Gaming. course as well and Max the fact that the title has not made the best of here, friends the in the Broken Psychos as it like I said before this grudge match to goes back to the Ruthless the Rumble where he took out all three members of the Psychos that were in that match Mr. Woos, David Labby and Lucas Hackett David and Wes have had their shots now it's Lucas's turn Looks 
And here we go. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show. Snap suplex from Lucas to start things off. Of course, Lucas sporting his broken psychos gear. Said he's going to dedicate this match to the psychos. Vertical suplex. Vertical suplex. Snap suplex. Of course, Lucas, a uh, former Intercontinental Hardcore and Tag Team Champion here in BUW. He's won plenty of championships, has, Lu has Lucas, and the win here could well propel him up in the United States Championship picture. Scoop slam from Lucas. Off the ropes. Hits a leg drop. This match grinded him down a little. If he can hold the Lucas now with the abdominal stretch. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. Will he make Luke will Lucas make Max submit here? He it's Marco Clock. Man, he just has so much resolve. Max into the cover, looking for a win. Just the one count. That's all right, Cole. Gotta wonder how this Lucas is being carried around the good. ring. Drops him face first onto the top turnbuckle. Back suplex. Straight right hand. Whips into the corner. And that long frame of Max. A massive leg, that foot into the throat of Lucas Hackett. And driving his knee into the face of the former Intercontinental Champion. Right hand from Lucas. And a kick to the back, which had no effect. And Lucas again in trouble, snake eyes. And Max now with the dragon sleeper. Will Lucas be put to sleep here? No. Lucas able to fight out. And look out. Side effect. Will that do it? Only a one count. Lucas cannot believe it. Kick to the midsection. And Lucas going for it. Le total carnage. Will this do it? Oh, and Max barely gets the shoulder up. Lucas can't believe his luck. As Max up on his shoulders. Samoan drop. Oh, wait a second. The lights have gone out here. And Max used this trick in, in ma previous matches over the Psychos. And that was a cheap trick. Lucas brought back in the hard way. And Lucas could be going for a ride. Choke slam. And that is that. No, it isn't. A two count. And Max cannot believe it. Max is not waiting around, though. He's not going to finish the job. He's got Lucas up. Spikes him. Tombstone pile driver. And there's the cover. And Max gets the dub over Lucas Hackett. And here's another glance of these superstars in action. So Max wins this uh, mini series against the Psychos with two victories to one. Thought Lucas had it there with a total carnage. And this is what this was the beginning of the end for Lucas here, the choke slam. Max went into the cover. But I'll tell you one thing, folks, if it wasn't for Max using th those cheap tricks with the lights, then it could have been a whole different story.
There's nothing more pure than picking can up Lucas, a good sorry, can Max win clean in BUW? Answers on a postcard, please. But anyway, here's your winner of the match. The current BUW, United States Champion, Max. And Max looking to ride off into the sunset. And away he goes. Anyway, that's that. And moving on to our next matchup. And this one will be from the women's division. And this is a rematch of sorts. This one is going to be Meow Jid representing the Rage Queens. And of course, in our corner, she's going to have a tag team partner, Ray. And she'll be taking on the new WWA Women's Champion. Kelly, who outlasted everyone in that chamber match. And it come down to Heli and Ray, the final two in, in that chamber match. And Heli scored the upset victory and captured her first championship. And of course, Ray will get a rematch against Heli at Wrestleverse. So do stay tuned for that one. Making her way down to the ring first, being accompanied by her tag team partner Ray, representing the Rage Queens, Mialjid. Of course, Mialjid knows a thing or two about winning the WWA Women's Championship. She currently holds the record with three victories with that championship. And of course, Ray. Hoping Meowjid softens up Heli for the rematch at Wrestleverse. Can she do it? And from Seattle, Washington, the Divas Champion, Haley. And making her way down to the ring next. The brand new WWE Women's Champion representing Hellfire, Heli. And Heli strutting her stuff, bringing that championship to the ring. Rubbing race face in it. And we knew it was only a matter of time before this young lady was going to capture gold here in BUW. To try a few new things, especially with the safety net of this being a non title match. Both women are ready to go. Our officials ready, and here we go. 
and given the athleticism Collar of the on elbow one, tie up. This one promises to be can't miss. And he dropping Meowja down the one knee. Meowja switching around Boom, into the arm bar. The Boom, and bending that arm a little bit. Textbook. Lovely Thanks head scissors. Very nicely done. Oh, and what a slap there from Meowjid. Meowjid smashing Ray head first into the canvas. And I think Ray at ringside definitely approves. The former WWA Women's Champion. Snap suplex. Meowjid getting the crowd fired up. Ellie on the ring apron. Bringing it back between the ropes. Ellie comes back inside. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Oh. Perhaps thinking about Ellie's got Meowjid up on her shoulders. Land. Snake Land. eyes. Face first into the mat. Very curious move Just a one count there. I should say face first into the turnbuckle. It's Marco Clock again. And we said Helly has vastly improved over the last six months. And it has shown. An elbow to the face. Mialjid with the counter. Sending Helly into the corner. Helly gets the boot up. Back suplex. Meowjid with a counter. And there's a forearm to the face. Kick to the back of the knees. And has got Ellie by the hair and thrown across the ring. And Meowjid better check those nails for clumps of hair. Meowjid, twist of fate. Could this do it? And a near fall for me, Algid, and she can't believe it. Whipping Helly into the corner and with some force. And look at that. As me, Algid would probably say, probably rubbing Helly's uh, nose into the into her little box. Off the ropes, and there's a drop kick. Meowjit in complete control of the WWE Women's Champion. Maybe Helly's done too much celebrating. Lights out. Shades of her husband, the minion. But Meowjit didn't cover. That could be a mistake. And as Ray looks on closely at ringside. And there's Meowjit with the armbar again. But Helly, look at that. Counter the head scissors. Nicely done. She's in full control now. Side slam. She goes for the quick pin. Helly into the cover now. Just a one count. A kick to the back. Rave, sorry, Helly with a clothesline and a second. And there's that single leg drop kick. Helly able to counter Meowjid's offense and delivers a backbreaker. What a win this would be for, for uh, Helly if she can knock off a three time um, WWE champion. Meowjid in trouble. Hung out to dry there of that net breaker. And Ray looks concerned at ringside. Into the cover. Just a one count. Helly cannot believe it. Is frustration beginning to kick in? But might as may might not be. Here we go. Rampage. Will this be it for the victory? No, it won't. A two count only, and Helly is questioning the referee's call there. Maybe she could be right, who knows? But it was definitely a two count. 
Oh, what a counter from Mialjid. And they say cats don't do land on their feet. There's your proof. And Mialjid follows up with a second twist of fate. Mialjid into the cover. And what? And uh, this time it's Mialjid questioning the referee's count. She wants to finish this. Mialjid not waiting around. Lights out a second time in the match. Mialjid again not covering her opposition. A clothesline. A second clothesline. A single leg drop kick. So it shows what Heli did a, moment, like a few minutes ago. And Heli gets thrown over the top rope. And you got to think what sort of can, going into this match, what condition Heli was going to be in. And a right hand. Must be Alger thinking here, what she got in store next for Heli. Sending Heli across ringside. The chops. It, oh, the exchange there and a the backhand. Snap suplex. Onto the thin padding. Gut buster. And Heli with those headbutts. What a matchup this is. Look out here. And Beautiful Northern Light suplex. We've seen that a bit more frequently in Heli's arsenal. That Northern Light suplex. Back into the ring. Heli back inside. Realising she's got to get Mialjid back in the ring. And there's a clothesline for good measure. Mialjid getting her head and neck worked on. And again Mialjid gets sent across ringside. And it's Heli taking a breather. Really just laying it in. Heli. Oh, look at her another clothesline. No one there. And Mialjid slamming Heli down with that hair pull neck slam. Oh, what a counter! DDT from Heli. Mialjid sent crashing into that ring post. And again Mialjid goes crashing into that ring post. And Flesh Meat still, still wins every time. That ring wasn't budging. No one there for the uh, kick there. And Mialjid follows up with the head scissors. And a knee drop. Harsh whip across ringside. Now Mialjid's the one taking a breather. Hold on. She wants to take this one to the floor. Oh, look at this. Lovely head scissors. Bringing Heli back in the ring. Oh, stomping on the arm. Marple smashes into the canvas from Ray's head. 
Miaoji with those knees and there's the knee lift and there it is again the lights out and Miaoji'd again not covering her opponent Miaoji going to the Fujiwara armbar is Heli going to submit here no Heli fighting out side slam Heli lining up Miaoji'd one more time maybe looking at that rampage has her up spikes her down and Heli into the cover no Heli cannot believe it and how many lives does this cat have and there's a cat kick and another cat kick Heli with a crucifix no one there for the kick Bulldog and Miaoji again four lights out and oh Miaoji what are you doing Heli getting thrown across the ring what did Ray tell her backstage is the question I think she mainly she must have told her to maim Heli as much as possible and into the Fujiwara armbar once more can Heli withstand this and she escapes a submission And Heli with the, uh, yeah, with the sleeper. Right, Miaoji too near the ropes. Elbow drop to the chest. Miaoji counters. Northern Light suplex. Follows up a Russian leg sweep. Backbreaker and Mialjid with her experience knew exactly where she was in that ring. Mialjid with the knees again, and there's that knee lift. No one there for the cross body. Who is going to win this thing? These two ladies dishing out so much punishment. Miaoji with a crucifix. Another crucifix. But this isn't false count anywhere. And another crucifix. Again, sending Heli across ringside back in the ring drop kick no one there for the cross body what's it gonna take Forearm to the face. Back inside the ring. And Heli looking for it. Helicopter. That could do it. And mercifully, it is over and you can see the disappointment on Ray's face at ringside not the result she wanted
But what a matchup. Absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, here's your winner of the match. Representing Hellfire. The WWA Women's Champion. Helly. And I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is. And just keep asking myself, how does Helly do it? How does she keep improving week in and week out? What a win for Helly. And moving on to our final matchup before we take another break. Back in the men's division. Another match that could have Wrestleverse implications. It will be... David Labby, representing the Broken Psychos. And he'll be taking on the 2022 Men's Ruthless Rumble winner, Bobby Mondo. Contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Illinois, weighing in at 229 pounds, David L. Given the participants, making his way down to the ring first, the show guys. representing yeah, the Broken Psychos, the David Labby. Match of the year candidate. And of course, uh, David Labby is the uh, cousin of Mr. Woos, Wesley Landon. Of course, early on tonight, become the number one contender to the BUW Intercontinental Championship, outlasting three other superstars. What can David Labby do here in this matchup against Bobby Mundo? What would a win do for David's career well, to say he looks ready to against a former started, BUW World be Champion and of course right maybe now. against yeah, the, the soon to be once again World Champion. Cole, and I must say, I absolutely love seeing so much enthusiasm from him. Is there a seek and destroy in Bobby Mundo's near future? Bobby Mondo. 
And just about to enter the ring next, representing the Ghostface Killers, the 2022 Men's Ruthless Rumble winner, Bobby Mondo. And of course, Bobby Mondo, we know now who he'll be facing at Wrestleverse this year. And after what we saw at the Chamber of Mayhem, Jesse is still the BUW World Champion. And speaking of the world champion Jesse, he will be in action in our main event where he'll be taking on Bobby Mondo's tag team partner from the Ghostface Killers, TM. Both men are ready, and here we go. And Bo look at Bobby right out the gates of an Olympic slam. This is about being the best. A left hand knocking David down and out, so to speak. Kicked in the midsection from David. Delivering a beautiful net breaker. Trampling the opposition. European uppercut, but did not fa really phase Bobby that much. Swinging net breaker. Elbow drop to the heart. Because Bobby Mundo, like we said, will be looking to win back to back WrestleVerse main events this year. But this time around, he'll be going in as challenger compared to last year. Irish rip into the corner. And David lighting up Bobby Mondo. And there is, a, there is, folks, a 10 punches of doom. Bobby able to counter. And there's a clothesline. Nearly took David's head off. Into the cover. Not even a one count. Bobby Mondo with the body shots. David has a leg of Bobby Mondo. Swinging him round. Maybe looking to cause some damage. A snap suplex from David Labby. Bobby regrouping to the outside. Immediately gets back in the ring. This is how good Bobby Mundo is. Pile driver. David pulling himself back up to the ring apron. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? What's he got in Oh, Bobby Mundo! German suplex. Oh, David has the foot. Says, ah, ah, ah. And another clothesline. Bobby Mundo cleaning house. Impaler DDT. This is fast paced and hard hitting. Not we expected. And David sending Bobby to the, to the outside into the middle rope. Looking for his vintage DDT. Of emotions here. And that, of course, is vintage David Labby. Looking to get the win here. A kick out. This one's Just a one count. Evading possible disaster there. Bobby Mondo counters. And delivers a DDT. A and yes, he has DDT busted DDT open DDT David Labby. And Bobby Mondo sends David to the outside. And it looks like this one's going out to the floor. David bringing Bobby back in the ring. This match has been not. Probably not going to win 
Oh, and what's David looking for here? A reverse Boston Crab. Bobby gets to the ropes. I think he is there, but the referee's not calling a rope break. Bobby sent over the top rope, lands on the apron. Dave could actually pull this off, you know. Off the ropes. Snap mirror takedown. And a kick to the back. Bobby regrouping to the outside once more. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. It has been absolutely brutal. Snap suplex. Right hand from David. Bobby switching things around back in his favor. European uppercut. He just David counters. There it is. Seek and destroy. He's got him. And David Labby scores a huge upset victory. That's a huge win for David Labby right there, folks. He has just beaten the men's Ruthless Rumble winner. He's beaten the number one contender to the BUW World Heavyweight Championship. And that's the biggest feather in David Labby's cap. What a match. I don't think too many people saw that coming. And there it was there to seek and destroy out of nowhere. So here is your winner of the match, representing the Broken Psychos, David Labby. And I'll tell you who will be happy with this outcome. His cousin, Mr. Woos, Wesley Landon, the number one contender to the BUW Intercontinental Championship. He's going to be really proud of his cousin. Of course, we will get Dave patched up once he gets backstage. Look at that, he's got a little scar on his, on his right eye there. We'll get that looked at straight away. But anyway, folks, that is going to do it for part three for this edition of BUW. If you have enjoyed it, then do me a favor and hit that like for Mike. Slam any comments down below. And please do be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit your notifications to stay up to date with all things gaming and all things BUW. So that's going to do it for part three, but we've still got a couple more matches still to come, including a four-way number one contenders match, which we'll see who will be the next challenger to Chloe's International Women's Championship. And, of course, the BUW World Champion, Jesse, as we mentioned before, will be taking on... Bobby Mondo's tag team partner TM in our main event so I hope you're able to be able to tune in and join us for that one so until then guys we're going to take this quick final break and we will see you all in just a bit see you after the break <laughs> <laughs>